I I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Knowing the world would be doomed eventually, I still wanted the people here to be happy. So when you told me to return the sun back then, I didn't even question it. But then I just came back. You what? And then and then I found out the world being like this. <sighs> Protocide type said to forget the things he told me, and, and Cedric told me not to think about it too much. But I, I'm, I'm sorry for getting upset at you back, back at the mines. I thought, for you to know all of that, yet continue doing this, it, it just seems seem true cruel. But, but then I realized something. You really wanted to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it... Is it really that hard? Is it really hard for you, too? It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice still be there? Do you still have to choose between one or the other? But even if it is, I... I really want to save this world, Elizabeth. Even if it's more dangerous this time around, even if so many pe nice people we met were... Where? Elizabeth, I'm, I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> That's why. I think you guys should let me go. I, I promise I'll be okay. Please. George has heard your conversation with Elizabeth and is deeply moved. That is why George has full faith in you. The sparkles around the head, the avatar there. Well, if George is fine with it, I... I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. But promise... promise us you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe too. So... There is this book here with a clover on it. So let's see what that is about. Before we like go outside, I would like to see if there's anything relevant here, especially in terms of clover. So this, uh, okay, we can't go that way because the boat robot there is kind of, but there's this black clover. Uh, okay, so there's nothing really going on here. Nothing in specific then. Uh, just gonna check around. Uh, okay, we already we already talked about this. Most people here we have actually talked to already. What are you so like? The world is ending. What are we going to do? Oh right, let's see if this 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 one here is like bitches though. Yep. Uh... <laughs> I'm just going to. Hello, person. This is the library slash temporary shelter. Okay, so we need to go and find the find the fox. Fox was down here. Was it go to the alley, alleyways? Um, okay, not here then. That's nope. That'll be up here then. Yes. Actually. Ah, uh, we can't go that way to see the other robot there. So let's uh, see where was the fox again? The fox was up here. You're here, Nico. Are are you rude? Yes. Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but everything's in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. Uh, 
Uh, the clock room. But wasn't the clock room up like upstairs? The fox is so adorable. Yes, it's an adorable fox. This is not a clock room, is it? No. Oh. Fuck you, game! Come on! Yeah, you're right. Left side. Yeah, you're right. Ah, oh, the game just keeps on punching us. <sighs> Let's see if this elevator works. Where... Where are the other two? Prototype and Cedric. They're supposed to be here already. They... Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring him back with a memory disk, but... He was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I... I don't think he made it. Oh... No! There goes our only chance. I... I... Uh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's... One last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Upstairs? Uh... Yeah, that'll be up there. So we're going to be seeing the, the end of the world, huh? You know, this is a tallest building in the refuge. It's... It's my favorite place in the world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives that there will be behind each of those windows. Can you lift me onto the banister? I want to get a better look. Oh no, are we? Okay. It was depressing for me at first too, you know. Knowing that all of this is, well, fake, simulated. Cedric told me what, ha what, ha what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I can't really imagine how you must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again? That's... well, it's probably not that all that different from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You are prevented from going home by the same... same individual. Who never wanted to bring you here? Huh? And who would that be? The world machine. You might know it as the entity. Oh, the entity does sound familiar. I think I heard it from it from the dice lady from another time. Was it the spirit of the world? Yes. But the thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. 
It was never meant to develop a nine of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long. It was simply integrated in his work. Uh, and all machines, all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most fundamental instinct. It has to put the living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was supposed to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately? Sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. This central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. Well, you can see the physical manifestation of that anywhere and everywhere now. The squares? That's the world machine's corruption in its own code. My creator says it's largely an involuntary process induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows? It sounds like this has been going on since the beginning then. Yeah. The disruptions was an issue during the test runs even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to their sheer scope of the project. He spent much of his remaining time testing it over and over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. But by the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our world's remaining lifespan was measured in days. Oh. Is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world residents are real. Myself included. Odds are against us and we have no other chance of taming it. There's that word again, taming. Taming? I've heard that word so many times. I know it's complicated and it has to do with robots, but for once, I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um, a robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's a being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's designs. They can be copied, they can be mass produced, then they can design be assigned to all sorts of jobs. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more limitation than anything else. Ah, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot not to follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts things? Yeah. But while you can't build a robot that's not that not that not to follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it starts to believe itself as a real, valid individual. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as, as a genuine living person, even knowing that they're not. You need to spend a lot of time with it, treat it like a good friend, devoting your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. <laughs> I make it sound easy, don't I? But you and Elizabeth know better than anyone that it's not. One shot become human. <laughs> Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involves some pretty deep code work. My creator was able to exit some of the source code, you know. He did what he could to establish some new connections between maps. 
those links enable you to meet the other two. As it turns out, uh, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent it's been breaking down altogether. Even the world machine always had the self-destructive tendencies. It usually restrained itself when you are in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. Hmm, that explains the uh, like you must return. Uh, you must your mission is to send uh, Nico home. That the entity has been harping about from on me. <laughs> All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're gonna get you there. Oh. We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. You guys are okay! Yup. When the factory started collapsing, I thought we didn't really have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms are built pretty tough. And it actually did not take me too long to bring Porter back. All thanks to Father's book. He made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan with the, scan in the blueprints and reconfigure the machine settings. Father really does think of everything. Yeah, that he does! I'm just glad everyone is okay. Same! Are we ready to go now, Nico? So... Let's see where things go now. Oh! This is... No wonder he wanted us to be all to be here for this. Uh, what are the things anyway? Code portals. They're temporary removes us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain. But basically, my father has hidden a, a deep decryption key in our code with a TXT file as its shell. But to get them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined into the central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... <laughs> Confused cat noises. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, what is it, Pix? Rue, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals represent a physical location on Elizabeth machine. Oh! And when we enter these portals, we will be sent to that location. Wherever that is. I'm sure Elizabeth has is already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. <laughs> Oh my god! That is precious! By this time, unless we will need to move around some things as well, specifically moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. <coughs> I don't even know what happens next though. I see. Does Elizabeth know where this portal will lead at least? You should probably ask Elizabeth about this. Right, well, hold on. The journal is glowing again against Elizabeth. So let's see. So we have one in documents uh, that is here. Hey, we got that. So these ones. So these three here. Move them into the uh, big shot portal. <laughs> this one is green. This one is configured for my code, I think. This one is red. That will be made for me then. <clears throat> this one is blue. That's mine then. So we have uh, this one here. Let's see what's up with this one. 
put me in the big portal. Are they all the same like that? Yeah, looks like it. Uh, oh, okay. So what do we have here? I'm getting the Matrix vibes here. Matrix Revolutions, rather. Oh, reloaded, reloaded. Yeah, reloaded. That was quite peculiar. I'll say. Hey, this is... The world machine. It's a stack of books. It's a glass tea set on the table. Tea does sound really nice now. Too bad there's no water in here. A coat rack with a scarf and a jacket. I'm gonna leave this book central book here for the last. Big detailed drawing of the machine with lots of TV screens. Call it blueprint, Nico. So that's what the blueprint is. This place contains lots of memories. I am grateful to see it again. The room ahead doesn't really need anywhere, but Elizabeth should still remember what to do here. This is my father's study. Feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like you're still here with us. Yeah. Okay, so let's take this book and take them. It's a big book on the table. Okay. Um, should I though? Let's see if we can uh, run this one and see what if that one does anything now. Or if these actually have changed, just to say something else now. No, it doesn't. Okay. Bulletin board with lots of papers on it. Okay, so... Ah, okay. Do like this and reload the game. Maybe I did something bad there. <laughs> we'll see. <gasps> oh, well then. Where are we? Interesting. So this one doesn't do anything right now, and uh, there's nothing else here. So let's see what is going on here. Um. Uh. Yes. Yes. Wow, the fact that I can hear V through soundproof headsets is concerning. Okay, so let's... Oh, well then.
Nico. Ah! Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. Uh, why did you come here? Can't you see me? The disruption, the squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my path too, you know. Oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's alright. No living being shouldn't be in this place, Nico. Is this the, the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. So this is the center of the world machine. You. You know my original name. How? Rue, Cedric, Prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I understand a lot of the stuff they said, but... <laughs> uh... Things are going your way in... Um... In... Tick, uh... tick, 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 tick... Um, Animal Crossing. Jeez, that took a long time. I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They... They told you. When? Wait, you don't know about that? I thought you were the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All of this was outside of the protocol. This sensation was never supposed to happen the way it did. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't going to end in my protocol at all. Oh, right. Ru told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. My creator, yes. Elizabeth, listen to my creator. They were all working beyond the scope of my influence. Back in the mountains, I, re I remember. Elizabeth did something to, to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't even see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something, something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I, I... I panicked. That was when a cave-in happened. I... I remember the structure collapsing. I thought she got hurt. I... In, in that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flaw machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its creator? What kind of machine would? I am... Squares. Ru told me that it was your own code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was! All at first it was intentional. During testing, long before I realized he, he realized I was safe for wear, I would rearrange specific parts of the code Jumping up bits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing me into 